Hey, what's up, channel? What's up, subscriber? The interest in these subs was whoa, whoa. The interest in this sub, four times as many videos as the interest in the image. And it's funny because most base heads are always screaming about something being made in America. And the image dynamics is totally made in America. But I guess there's a lot more interest in Serving Vega and his comeback with the VMAX series. Uh, let me look at this, the similarities and the differences. Uh, the similarities are that both of them have a two inch core. Uh, the magnet structure is a little bit larger on the Serving Vega. But remember, the, the magnet is only used to move the, the soft parts, which is the NNS. Uh, this the, the differences are this is an SPL gear sub, right? Even though it only has a two inch voice coil, but it is sonically it, it's a very clean sounding because of that. Having a two inch voice coil is very clean sounding. This is an SQ8, is maybe SQ loud, but they are designed to do. Two totally different things. This one is designed to get punchy, impactful bass to tighten over the stroke so you create that knuckle in the air. The force is significantly, maybe maybe more than what is necessary. The movie saw for the acceleration so that you could create that SPL. Both of them have low MS. I mean, both of them are under 150. The saw parts don't really weigh anything. Uh, both of them have the same. This is 14 millimeters X Max. I think this is 14 or 12 millimeters X Max. So, but they're two different designs to accomplish two different things. Uh, this basket is not original. This basket is. This is a stamp steel basket. This has no recoin ability. This one has a recon ability I will show in another video where you don't have to use no glue. So in the field, if you was an injury to sub in some kind of way, maybe clipping it or somebody fell on it, uh, you could just unscrew it out and pop another one in. Uh, both of them have an FS, I believe. I, don't know, I know this one has a very, very low FS. Out the box, it plays great. I mean, you could hear the difference on the video. This is this is very deep bass. Whereas this is impactful bass. This is the bass that carries. This is the bass that you feel when you in this immediate vicinity. In my opinion, if you had four of these and you were I don't know a thousand feet away, yeah, you would you would hear them, but they would get significantly. As they got closer to you, the bass would be impactful. When you opened my door, when I was in the window talking, I, I found out later that nobody back could hear what I was saying because of the, the bass on both of them. Nobody could hear what I was saying. This is very impactful. This subwoofer, this subwoofer actually, the VMAX I actually felt sitting in the window and knowing only getting like four or 500 watts, I actually felt the slight wind going over my face so that is that pro the proves to me is spl generated it's made to create a knuckle in the air it's, it's made to rarefy air to hit the meter i mean if that's what you want it for but it's also a musical sub but this one is the bass that carries it may not be impactful where you are but it's it, it, it's it's smooth bass that carries like an elephant you know elephants when it mumbles or whatever, it, that bass carries further. This bass will carry further. You would hear this maybe at 15, 2,000 feet. <laughs> You'll know he coming, especially if you have multiples of them. Uh, but they're two different subs that are optimally great. But I guess everybody just wanted to hear. <laughs> everybody was, in, I mean, the server in Vega is out doing both the NEP and the image dynamics and video views. I'm talking about this. This was I, this might now by the end of this video might be at 900, pushing a thousand in less than 24 hours. <laughs> so I was it's a great sub, but they're 
just, just know that for two different things. This is a sound quality, loud driver. This is an SPL driver. Both perform well. I like both of them. I like both of them for what they do. Uh, the build construction on both is amazing. But this one is made in China. This one's totally made in the U.S. So I also learned something that stiffness uh, does not mean too much in power handling. Ain't that nice? You see how easy this moves? Where I can, I can move. You can see my hand flexing, and this moves so freely. And yet, it takes the same power as this one does. Uh, I don't. I think as far as abuse, I think this will take a little bit more abuse. But this has a, a lot of throw on it as well. But I think this will take a little. This is more forgiving uh, than this one would be. I also must tell you this, which I didn't hear me say in the video. Uh, this one, the epicenter, brought out more of the bass notes of the song as I turned the dial. This one did not need the epicenter. Say that again. As it was playing, because this is SPL gear, as I turned the knob on the epicenter, the bass got more uh, deeper, impactful, uh, other... The deep, the depth, the depthness of it came out with the, with the epicenter as I turned the dial to apply more of the epicenter benefits, restorations. This one didn't need it. And the one part where it actually bottomed out is because the epicenter was higher than it was necessary. When I turned what would be, in my understanding of my system, when I turned the epicenter off to what you would normally hear without it, I was hearing the frequencies that this one needed the epicenter to bring out. This one needed the epicenter to get depth and deepness to the bass. This one did not. I noticed that and I was saying that on the video that I had to turn the epicenter down on the image dynamics and then it did okay with everything. It was picking up notes that the NIP and the VMAX and I would have to say, knowing the Toro as well, the image dynamics didn't need that. It picked up the, the subtleties in the, in the, on the track all by itself. Did not need the episode. The episode caused it to pick up stuff. To, but I didn't even know it was in the song. So factor that in when you're getting your system. This is more efficient than this one. You can throw I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure you can throw way more power to this one, than you, but this one doesn't need that much power to get loud, and it's more sonically accurate. The ID, the ID is more sonically accurate than the VMAX, so just know there's two different users for them. Uh, they're both great subs. I love, I love both of them. They're all going to be in my collection. I'm getting my wall built back. I'm buying all my subs all over again. And just showing people on YouTube what's going on. If you like what you see, man, as far as what I comment, I, I do read your comments. And what subs is coming next? Please like, uh, subscribe, so I can get more viewers. And eventually, I can get to the point where, oh man, it pays to be supporting itself, and I won't be supporting it. <laughs> but I love it because you know it's just a hobby of mine. Also, if you need an enclosure, uh, any size, eight, tens, and twelves, I do ship out. Uh, please hit me, and I will show you, tell you how to get in contact with me. Uh, truck enclosures, whatever you need, man. Hey, thank you. I am at 500 and some subscribers. I want to thank each and every last one of you. And let's keep it going, man. Let's check out these eights from the original, Mr. 8-inch. Holla.